I just noticed that the title of this mission is the Thin White Line. And considering what we just experienced in the last episode, that's quite subtle. Hi guys, welcome back to Scaling King. We're off for more of South Park, the Fractured Butthole, and in the last episode, we broke out black people that were wrongly arrested, and they tried to shoot Token while we were, you know, breaking in to save Classy. And actually, she is black as well, and yet she wasn't in the cell, so hmm, maybe they've got her holding up. And you know what? We're going to punch uh, Cap uh, Sergeant Yates in the throat because he's being a bit of a dick and a hypocrite. And he tried to shoot Token, but I'm not about that life. Let's go get him. Alright, so there's a bag here. Hacksaw and a hot dog. Okay. Don't know what that is. Hello? What's in here? What? What is in here? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. What, what what manner of thing did I just stumble into? Am I in the evidence locker? Oh, whoa. Ah. Uh, how, how many violations and code breaks and just outright moral reasons does this break? <laughs> this ain't friggin' f f Futurama. Were they trying to reenact that? I don't know. Oh, wait. Before we do that, do this. Can I... Get off the ladder a moment. Can I open this door now? Unlock the door. Open it. Oh! Yeah, yeah, the evidence locker. There we go. So we just basically walked around the room. Alright then. Let's push this over here so I can see what's in here. Song of the Drunk Knight and Defender Mask. You know what, I just realised something. We haven't fought Man Bear Pig yet, and considering everyone's like dressed up as different stuff, I'm actually kind of surprised by that, because that's what the previous game ended off ended off with, right before the credits. I don't know why I'm bringing that up now. I guess it's just because um, I've just made some, like a few Stick of Truth references in the last episode, like going through the vents and all that, because we haven't done that in this game since, and we did that quite a lot in the previous game, and now all of a sudden that just popped into my head. Chronicle of Bat Dad's Crimes Against Humanity oozes with a noxious blend of testosterone, spandex mask, and light beer. Well, my knockback combo damage goes down a little, but my ultimate recovery goes up quite a bit. I might actually make that swap. Yeah, I'm going to make that swap. Because my knockback combo damage is still over 100%. I'd rather keep it over 100, but my ultimate recovery, I can use that more often now. That sounds fun. So, hmm. And I just realised as well, considering my um, DNA build right now, my brawn is only 88 when my brains are 114, and yet, my one uh, brawn punch attack still does the most damage of all my attacks, so I can't complain about that whatsoever. Can I actually bring this over here? There we go, it's not being as janky as it usually is. Vial of Baby Fart McGee Zack's Blood. Okay, that's a bit descriptive. Can I do this? No, nope, that's locked. Alright, so have I just looped around? Probably have. Yeah, I have. So, can I go in here still? That door's actually open. And the dude ran off to the left. So, do I want to go to the right first? I think I might want to go to the right first. You would think Classy would have been in here. Uh, apparently not. Uh, let me get back within here. I haven't found any Yowie going all the way through this, but I wouldn't have expected much Yowie to be this deep in the level. But you never know. Can I damage the TV? No. Can I hack anything? No. What's the point of this room? Just for a few extra item finds? Yeah, no power. Alright then. Let's go back to where we were. What we got? Right there. Can I go down here? Oh god, is this where I need to be? I thought I needed to go up the stairs. Uh, that's not having a good time. And I might actually find Yowie here. Drunk tank. Hang on. Oh, I might have to go this way actually, because I doubt Classy would be in here. So what I've got to do, I'm guessing what I'm going to have to do is time the time fart pause, 
walk in there, get the bag, and then come out. So I don't get squished. Yeah, like that. Infectious encryptor. That's different. Right, let's get out of there. I thought it was pretty clogged today. If I keep cutting out, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's have a look here. Infectious encryptor, a nefarious tool responsible for such abominations as the tramp stamp, the tat stash, and the mistranslated kanji tattoo. So it's a tattoo machine. But it looks like a drill. Alright. Ultimate recovery goes down, the status effect damage goes up. This is really the only thing I would replace, so I don't think I'm going to be doing it with anything else. I mean, my knockback combo damage will go up again, but my status effect will go down, as well as my stats. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Alright, so why else have we got it? I mean, I need to get in here somehow. Can I... Do something about this? Hmm. Can I get in there? There's, there's, a, there's a box in there. Diabetes, perhaps? He can bash down the wall? No? Nope. Nope. Whack this out of the way? Nope. Oh, wait. Could it be that clever? Hang on. Nope. Nope. There we go. Got it. I want to try something. Can I just walk across? Nope. That is not a thing I can do. Is there anything in here I can activate? Nope. <coughs> Worth a shot. So, can I do anything with this pipe? Huh. So, how do I get in there, then? I mean, there's no cell... Lo unlocking button. So I'm a little bit confused about that, to be honest. And I don't want to get crushed with that, so... Oh, I guess I have to come back later and do that then? I don't know. There's not really any way I can see on getting that box. I mean, it's only one box. It's not, I'm not going to, like, you know, waste time on trying to figure it out, but... I'm kind of messing with OCD a little bit, because I want to check everything possible. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Okay. First of all, I need to turn off... This. How would I do that? There's no switches around here. Uh, it could be in the wall, actually. That might be what I need to do. So what I need to do is... Do this. Grab this. Bring it over here. Hopefully this won't get affected by time or anything. That nah, didn't. Okay, cool. Alright, so let me do this. Blow this up. Way to go. And what's in here? Uh, oh. Oh, I was going to stink him up. Is this actually a place I can fart call? Does that fan count as a pinwheel? It's shimmering. I mean, what's over here first? Ah, there we go. As soon as I was questioning it, we figure it out. Oh, wait, hang on. How does that work? Because we came further forward toward the camera. Go into that doorway. Oh, it might go around the wall. Prison tattoo. Okay, so that was actually a piece of cosmetics. Okay, well, at least we solved that issue then. Alright, so I believe this is fart core. I don't know why I'm having such a bad throat today. That's going to be really annoying to edit. Well, I say today, it hasn't affected my last two videos, and this is a one recording session, so... Alright, fart core time. Uh, Wall jumping! Yeah. Like a pro. Man, my whole outfit reeks now. Thanks a lot. Sorry. I gotta... Ah, here we go. This is how you turn them off. So this was required, I just not... It wasn't what I was thinking of. Butters! Wow, we're just chaining team attacks here. Here comes the chaos! Here comes the chaos! Here comes the chaos. Oh no. Bum! And we just fades out into nowhere. Alright, let's get out of here. Get back down to where we were. Oh, you've just been waiting here. <laughs> Sorry! Alright, how do we get down? Let's get out of here. Are you just gonna. Do we have to actually do it all the way down, or are we just going to drop? 
Yeah, we're just gonna drop. Really Alright, that's helpful. Yeah, right, bye. Yeah, I like how you can fly um, if I'm calling you, but when we're working together, we're not flying together. Interesting. Oh, hello. Almost missed that. Annihilation over Thruster recipe. Basically, a screen with two hair dryers that makes it look like a jetpack. Can I craft this? 105 for a major. Propels your team's powers through alternate realities and back again, throttling foes with interdimensional pain. That's going to make me level 19. Wow. Okay. Um, let's make the next one then. And let's also make the level 3 on that. Now I'm level 20. <laughs> Let's make the level four of both of them. Oh, hello. 600 out of 600. Why did I... Uh, did, did I max out my crafting level? Why did I not level up? Uh, I need to experiment with this. Revive serum. Yeah, I'm maxed out. I can't get any more experience. I'm maxed out on crafter rank. Damn! <laughs> that just finished me off. And I've made everything I can possibly make. Okay. Awesome. I mean, I've got a lot of spare ones to sell now, because I'm not going to equip the, the, the weaker versions, but there we go. Right, so which is the best ones? These two. Well, I place that with that one, because that gives me an extra two points. So what else have we got here? we got... The Annihilation Uber Thruster. Critical Strike Damage. Health Recovery goes up a bit more. But that's not really what we need. Those are the only two slots we have. We get more health out of it. More brains out of it, which is definitely helpful. But I lose all of my bonus ally health. Which is not good. Right, okay. I think we're going to have to leave it at that then. But that's still pretty awesome. I've actually maxed out my crafting level. That's crazy. So wait. Hang on. So does that mean that because... Um... I do not get anything after hero rank level 9. Does that mean that when, my, when I get my 1600 experience, it's just going to stay maxed out? Am I actually at max level? Or do I still climb in rank just for other things? Because there's so many titles here. We've done 36 of them and we've got like six more. We've got to defeat more crab people. We've got to find the rest of the Yowie. We've got to collect a few more costumes. Defeat 10 bums. Get 10 people to follow you back on Instagram, which is an ongoing process. Which I get cosmetics for, it looks like. So. Hmm. Alright then. Let's keep on moving. Feels like I've only gone like two rooms forward and we're already 50 minutes into this. Crazy. Okay, new kid. We have to sneak past this guy to that door over there. Can I actually fight him, though? No, I can hit him, but that's not a good idea. We do have this pipe, though. Let's just hope I don't make too much noise while blasting out a new one. You actually cut him off! Not a lot of power? Oh, wait, how much power do you want? Mid middle power. Alright! Right, so that's one thing. Oh wow, that's a shot I'm gonna have to make. How do I have to stand for that? Uh, wait, can I not even? Can I do that? Got you, pervert. Shit! Ah shit! I mean, ah shit! Damn it! You're dead. Well, that's annoying. Turn the last checkpoint. Okay, new kid. We have to sneak past this guy to that door over there. Well, I was trying to think. How the hell do I do that without getting murdered? I didn't think I was going to get shot. So basically, I have to avoid that blonde. So what do I need to do? Oh, oh! I got to knock him out. I didn't see that. There we are. All right, now we got to be quick. No, no, no. We got to be quick. Go, 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 go! Before he regains consciousness, if he even does. I didn't see the little shimmy on the, on the. On the monitor, that that was the problem. Come here, little guy. So that was a pointless game over again. But I'm not entirely too mad about that because I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I had to lightly sneak. I'm sorry, I'll put it in better next time. 
I accidentally just pressed up instead of down. That was my fault. There we go. That was a stupid mistake I just did. By the way, he says pervert, and yet I think he's watching everybody, like, on toilets. That's a thing. Alright, I think we're good. Anytime now. Yep, we can go into the next room. Hello? You know what a cop is, new kid? Scraggles! A oh. cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. You could shut up. That, that cat is sitting ours. in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? No. Holy shit, that scramble. Yeah. What? You found the missing cat, but Lord. Freedom pals, we've got the police chief. Top floor. We're all united. What can I say? You kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. Oh, do you really? Is it Al Gore? <laughs> Just throwing it's it out. Trap. I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good. Eating the subway sandwiches. What? His name is Jared, and he's still looking good. Hey, kids. You want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. This is where my lack of knowledge on South Park shines through the most. I do not know who this guy is. I'm guessing he's a pedophile, considering what his title card showed. But... I don't know this character. In fact, I do recognize. I do. I think I recognize his design, though. I think he's like the main enemy in that Xbox 360 download game, which is like a South Park side scroller before Stick of Truth was a thing. I just love conjugal visits. I'm not entirely too sure. You know what? Before you do anything, I'm gonna get a second meal in this action. Secondary butt hole, I've warmed the Haha! Right. I can hit you with that. So we will just do the wave beam. Ah. Ah. That kid made me feel funny inside. Just small wave, buddy. Bad karma small coming wave. Your way. Right, what are we gonna do here? That would do. But we'll stand over here to keep my distance because we have infinite range. Ah. I love your tool. Want to hold mine? You've got a lot of bad karma coming your way. <laughs> well, I think this the guy needs to, you know, lay off the horn. Um. I can't do anything this turn, so what do I have for items? I mean, none of us are taking any damage, so I guess none of this is going to be helpful. I think I'll just have to end turn. Unless I want to use a summon, but that's kind of a waste. I'm just going to end turn. How'd you kids like to see my famous footlong? How about you like to suck my above? He probably would, actually. How about no? <laughs> I had to make that reference. Um, what we got here? Oh! Oh, okay, so I can bring him in from about two spaces back, but I don't really want to do that. I mean, I guess if I stand here and do it, I can bring him one space forward and I can lower his defense to make him a little bit easier to take down, so I can do that. Here we go. But yeah, we've finally got to Scraggles, or natural Scrambles, excuse me. Are up to code. I'm and... Not your natural laws. Yeah, and we're all working together. I'm guessing I would have had everybody available at that point if I went into my allies. I'm not entirely too sure, but could have been a thing. So, let's see, what can I do here? I, mean, I could put a turret in the way just in case. But, yeah, I think I might do that, actually. If I stand if I stand here, I pop a turret here. If he goes to the back here, he'll get sniped. So that limits his movements. Yeah, and it aims both ways because of the red grid. For some reason, you didn't see that last time. Oh! Alright! Free hit! On a boss! I wonder what PC Principal will say about that! Freaking effectively made him so his head go Then! He just one shot Kenny and I couldn't even block it. Yep, that happens. Ow, my nipple! Well, so your kids are pretty tough. But now let's see how you deal with my AIDS! Uh, what? 
They were in your cell block with you? We'll handle these kids for you, Mr. Fogel. I think I know how to handle a kid, thank you. My aids always make me feel better. Ah. Uh, okay. This is all going exactly So he attacks by pleasuring himself with a subway and attacking through the subway, which one shot in Mysterion? I'm taking bullets to the face and that did less damage. <laughs> I don't get that. So now he's dead Mysterion. He only has 50 HP. Dead Mysterion haunts enemies with debuffs, chilling, marking, and confu confusing them. He's invincible and cannot be attacked, but if he's the last party member standing, it is game over. So I can still control him, but if he's the last Wanna one, see if we can all squeeze into because he's still technically dead, My client is merely requesting that would count as a game over. A so, photo opportunity. Myster oh, ultimate power, Mysterion re-rising. Mysterion is reborn in corporeal form, delivering powerful heals to all adjacent allies. So unlike in Stick of Truth, where he revives after two turns of, inact of inactiveness, I have to actually use my ultimate to bring him back. Seems a little bit more balanced, to be fair, but at the same time, that makes me lose out on an attack that could actually change the tide of battle. Anybody have Interesting. $5? So, I need to freeze his aids. He's right in f Actually, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I can freeze that guy. And then he can't move, and he's going to get sniped by the turret. <laughs> Let's do that. Ah. As if this gig could get any worse. Right. Time to show off my tool set. I do this. That'll work. Ah, those are my dad's and that was not back damage back as well. Point. Helpful. You're up to bat, new kid. Right, so what can I do here? I mean, I guess I could freeze you. Can I go one step further? No, I can't. That's annoying. Um, I can't punch anybody. I can give him shock. Can I give his part? Actually, I could shock his aid from behind. I'll do that. So let's get around there. You know. You're taking care of business, but Lord. And that means as he's going to try and heal him all the time, he'll actually accidentally give him shock. And for Tupperware here, I can't make another turret yet. But what I can do, because he gives debuffs and buffs and all that. Oh no, I can't actually switch with him. He's someone I can't switch with because it, it's a greyed out uh, blue square. So I can't do the that with Dead PR is helping people. Alright, so what can I do? Could swap positions with with me, I guess, but then I don't, I can't hit. I think I'm just gonna hang back there, in turn. Get wrecked. Also, it attacks both ways anyway, because it still turned around. All right, dead Mysterio. What attacks have we got? Haunt a foe, chilling them with a touch, which is two turn freeze. Oh, well, he can't be frozen, so that was actually a good move. And he has, oh my god, he has a lot of range of movement. Apply defense down to an enemy surrounding Dead Mysterion, or confuse the foe with Spectral Terror. Oh, he's in the perfect position for this, actually. Let's use that. Ah, that so even if you lose Mysterion, yes, you're down one part of it, but you can still act and actually well. help out from beyond the grave. This is really helpful. And Dead Kenny is actually helpful. Oh my god, he's gonna one shot me! I can't block it! That's ridiculous! No kids in touching range. This is so frustrating. So I need to keep him away from us because he's gonna one shot no matter who it is. That's ridiculous. Uh well that works. Right, okay. Uh you need some you need a you need a bit of gassing. Can I stand here and hit them both? No, nope. can I stand here and hit them both? Damn it, why Toolshed needs the next one to move? Actually, you know what? I can punch you right now. But don't want to do that. I need to keep him away from us. I need to take out his aid, really. I can't hit him from with what I have. If you're waiting for something in particular, don't. I don't know what I want to do. That's 206. That's 344, and if I nail that, that's going to do way more damage. Now, you know what? I'm just going to fart on him. Bugger it. We kind of need it. My future's... My, my present self's gone down, so my past needs to pick up the slack. Hopefully you'll remember and not make the same mistake. <laughs> ah, is it getting hot in here, kid, or is that just you? Oh, we're gone. Here we go. Right, that, that, that's a problem. All right, uh... 
Can I do that? No. Can I do that? No. Ah, bugger it. Alright, so this guy's a big issue. But I also need to take care of him. In fact, no, I can't stay in the right position to hit them both. What's his movement speed? Oh my god, he can, he has movement. He has movement and you can't freeze him. You can't slow him down either. Or confuse him. My god, he has a lot of immunities. Oh. That's bad. Alright, so, wait. What's his limit if I'm standing here? Or what's his limit if I'm standing here? Right, this is actually a good spot. I can stand here and hit him safely. But that's all I can do. I know I got the right tool for the job somewhere here. Right, let's do this. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it will knock him back as well, so that helps. Here comes Tupperware. Right, so you can't really do anything right now. I mean, can I swap with my dead body? No, I can't. Right, I need to... No, because if I bring myself back, I'm just going to die again immediately when it gets to it gets to the turn, so... I need to wait until their turns are over before I can come back up. So... Hmm, what next? I actually, it might. I don't know. I mean, I can't hit anybody right now. I've, you know what? I'm going to chance it. Where's one of our be best heals? I'm using items way more often now. The, the, the game has definitely got more difficult. Oh, you can't use revival items on Dead Mysterion. You have to use his ability. Just like in Stick of Truth. That makes sense, actually. Still, I'm a bit surprised. Restores significant health, restores nominal health. Right, so I have to use one of these ones. Yes, Alright, let's do that then. Idea of course of action. Right, let's do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, I only restores half my health. I thought it was way more than that. Get in there, new kid. Okay, so I do have a turn. Okay, I can actually back up here. So if I stand here... No, I can't hit him. But I can freeze him again. And then he'll get pummeled by the gun and that might finish him off. Yes, we'll do that. This is a tough battle. Even if there's not a lot of enemies this time around, it's just because he can one-shot us all. Yep, that'll kill. So he can't be healed anymore. And he's at the back of the area again. Right, so what I want to do here... I mean, we've got no ultimate at the moment, because I already used it, so... I mean, that would have been helpful. So... The circle attack is pointless, because he's immune to it. That would help, because it would lower his defense. And I can't freeze him, so the only thing that I can actually do is mark him for death. And if I'm in the way, he has to walk around me in order to get around. So if I stand about... Well, I have to stand here, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll lower his defense. The best thing we can do. Ah, protect me, AIDS. They're already knocked out. No luck on that, mate. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wah, I'm gonna what? lose another 200 pounds at this rate. What's he doing? Why is there a red line? I mean, it doesn't reach Stan, thank God, but still. Wait, is that going to help? Well, it's only going to help me. Well, Stan, you can stay standing there, because I need a bit of healing right here. Thank you. That's why I had you on the team. My turn to get fresh. Right, so what we're going to do is pop this here. Wait, that's going to attack immediately, so... Yeah, oh, this is the only place I can actually stand and use it. So let's do that, and counter-attack. Is that going to hit me though? No, it's going to avoid me. Oh, it's out of range! Damn it! Okay. Uh, pro tip, don't do that. Oh, we can finish him off right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come right close and personal, and smack you right in those gonads of yours. Here, Booski! Dickbag? Wow, he one-shotted both me and Mysterio. That's ridiculous. Tumble of Erupting Youth. Vial of Chloroform. Five dollars on the dot. Hey, I am level ten, but that's pointless. What are Nothing the police doing with the people they arrested? Oh, how should I know? I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No, I like the way no, you please, think. Please, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything. What is the police chief hiding? There's, there's more cells down below. Cops, take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? But come on, how should I know, huh? How far? Yeah, yeah I seen him type it in. One four seven seven. Please, I'm sorry. It's well, just cool. that I like being with children, you know, because I, 
because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. Hmm. Tempting. Dude, that was hardcore. I can't forgive right, well, what you did. well, that was pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we do anything with the bodies? Yeah. I don't know what was the right option, to be honest, but I feel like farting was the right idea. I was running out of time. I didn't think it was like a time thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should probably forget this ever happened and definitely never talk about it. You're a steel-eyed fart killer. Fuck it, A. Did I actually kill him with my fart? Did I actually kill him? You got a soft heart, kid. Maybe too soft. What do you mean a soft heart? I don't know what you meant by that. Oh! Didn't re realize that. Heroes are judged by their ability to show mercy. You showed him your asshole. Wait, what? What did you say? Well thought, new kid. It's important to show mercy to the banquet. Okay. He grabbed my proboscis. Activating deep side protocol. Okay. Well, I thought we were going to actually have the boss against uh, Sergeant Yates there, but instead he fled and put that sandwich bit of arm into the battle instead. So I think I'm going to end off the episode here, and maybe in the next episode we'll take him out, because he's got scrabble, scrambles, and we need that cat. And we also need to get car suit. That's another thing. And then we got to do a Mitch Connor. It's piling up. But hey, we might be finally getting the cat back, and that's what matters at this point. So... In the next episode, guys, we're going to get the cat back, we're going to rescue Classy, probably find out any information on Mitch Connor, and all of us are here, working together. Maybe we're not so fractured after all. See you guys then. He's still looking good, eating the Subway sandwiches. His name is Jared, and he's still looking good. Hey, kids. You want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. <laughs>